Welcome to Easy Science. Let us know about plant growth substances. You know that plant growth is a very important process for the existence of plants. Plants need air, water, light and minerals for their growth. Similarly, some chemicals do affect the plant growth. Have you ever thought how the stem of a plant grows upwards and the root grows downwards after seed germination? And have you ever thought how the stem always grows upwards and the root grows downwards, even if the plant is fallen or slanted? Let us think of a small activity to identify the reason behind this. You select two similar plants. Then keep the apex or the tip of one plant and remove the apex of the other plant. Supply all the environmental conditions equally to both for about one week and observe what happens. You will observe that the plant with apex grows and height increases. And plant without the apex will have no change in height. So we can conclude that there is an effect of the apex to increase their height. Let us think about another experiment to confirm it further. Take four similar germinating plants. Keep one plant with the apex. Remove the apex of the other plant. Cover the apex of the third plant with an opaque cap and cover the apex of the fourth plant with a transparent cap. Now supply all the environmental conditions equally and leave the system in sunlight for few days. You will observe that the plant with apex uncovered and the apex covered with transparent cap will turn towards sunlight while other two will have no change. So now it's further confirmed that there is an effect of plant apex on the growth of the plant. It is because there are chemical compounds synthesized in plant apex and these chemical compounds which regulate the growth of plant are called as plant growth substances. Some of these growth substances promote the growth while some others inhibit the growth. Some plant growth substances promoting growth are auxins, gibberellins and cytokinins. Auxin is a growth promoting hormone produced in the tip of the plant shoot and the root. Auxins stimulate cell elongation in the stem and the root. Let us see the effect of auxin in dissimilar cell elongation of stem to turn towards light. When light falls onto the plant, auxins produced in the apex diffuse downwards. It speeds up the growth of new cells and the shoot of the plant grows upwards. When light falls from sides, auxin concentrate more in the side of the plant where intensity of light fall is low and they concentrate less in other side. So auxins cause the cell in darker side grow longer than the corresponding cells on the other side. This causes curving of the plant stem towards the light. This is called positive phototropic movement. Auxins also inhibit the growth of lateral buds. So pruning of plant apex is practiced in horticulture to maintain bushy plants, especially in plants like pomegranate. Gibberellins promote mainly the elongation of stem and growth of the fruits. Cytokinins accelerate cell division, so the growth of flowers, leaves, fruits and roots are accelerated. They also stimulate seed germination and delay plant aging. Abscisic acid is a plant growth substance that causes closing of stomata when plant has shortage of water, so it decreases transpiration. Similarly, ethene is a simple organic compound produced in low amounts in plants. It is needed for ripening of fruits and to recover wounds and in damaged plant parts by forming new tissue. Have you ever thought of the reason for falling of the leaves and the fruits when matured? It is due to formation of abscission layer. If you observe the stalk of a broken leaf and a naturally fallen leaf, the layer would be clear. The reason for the formation of abscission layer is the reduction in amount of plant growth substances in the fruits and leaves with 
maturing. There are artificial growth substances used in horticulture and growing ornamental plants. 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid and 2,4,5-trichlorophenoxyacetic acid are used as broadleaf weedicides for paddy. Indole acetic acid and indole butric acid are used to induce root formation in stem cutting and to get fruits quickly. Remember that indole acetic acid is also a natural growth substance found in plants. Naphthalene acetic acid is used to prevent premature fruit drop and to induce flowering in pineapple in off-season. Cytosyl is used to get mango in off-seasons. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson. Meet you all in another video.